excited to present um, Robert Forster, who is actually a kind of a legend in Santa Monica when it comes to physical therapy and uh, physical training. Tonight, he's going to share a lot of his kind of a secret recipe for success, as well as a tactical skills as a phys physical therapist. So it's my honor to introduce Robert Forster. Thank you for the Thank you. Forster Physical Therapy is a physical therapy office set up with seven physical therapists. Our philosophy is basically that exercise is what fixes people. And we use our physical therapy modalities and our hands-on procedures to speed up the process. So if we can suppress symptoms with modalities, use manual therapy to speed up the mechanical changes we're trying to make with the stretching and strengthening, um, and educating the patient and client how to stay healthy. I'm going to talk to you tonight about how we transition from physical therapy into fitness and training. Now we're changing the parameter and the paradigm in, in all sports to understand that everything comes down to having first a good aerobic base. So our approach after working with Olympic athletes and, and talking about what we did in working with high level athletes is it all comes down to function. And with our general population our approach is generally that we need stretching and strengthening exercises. That's what fixes people. The body is a very mechanical structure. It needs mechanical treatment. My key belief is that exercise fixes the body and it's all about the basics. Like your joint has to work right first. So we have to have full range of motion of our joints. We have to have strength and flexibility of the small muscles that keep the joints articulating properly. And that's the first step of any health and fitness motion, you know, as far as structural awareness. It has to first be a joint that works well. I think anatomy is the key. When you look at it, you have to, you know, practitioners have to know their anatomy. And it's something that you don't have to be taught. You can open a book and look at where the muscles are and memorize them. You know, you start just memorizing where the muscles are, then you start thinking about it, then you start looking into what, how they function, and then just go from there. But I don't think there's nothing that takes the place of knowing your anatomy. If you're gonna find, if you're gonna treat an injury, you have to find it, you have to be able to put your finger on it. It's important to have been an athlete. I competed at a high level NCAA wrestling, and I've been around it a long time. You have to give athletes a wide berth. You know, you have to, they're gonna be a little different. You know, some of them, the things that make them great, um, also make them a little quirky sometimes. So I give athletes a wide berth, have always a positive attitude, um, you know, always communicating well with the athlete of what you're doing and how you're doing it, why you're doing it. I, uh, I see that when you give athletes the science, they get it, they start to follow it. And this is our motto, no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. And if you get that across every day, whether it's fitness or not, you're taking it serious, you're making those small corrections, then people are like, you know, now I feel like I'm being taken care of. I think it's important to have a good understanding of the anatomy, the kinesiology, um, the physiology um, on a basic level and a willingness to learn and help people. Really, that's all it takes. Um, if they come, students come to us, whether it be, we have an open door policy, so we have interns, we have students, we have people observe just, you know, here and there, see if it's what they want to do. Um, they have to just come with an open mind, uh, ready to serve the public, realize that we're on the service business, and we teach them.